Hello. Well, thanks for joining us again. So on Friday night, uh, when I was talking to you before, we were in a somewhat tense situation trying to uh, bring Wolfram Alpha live for the, for the very first time. And uh, I'm happy to say at uh, 8.48 p.m. Central Time on Friday, uh, we brought uh, Wolfram Alpha live uh, to the world um, for the first time in uh, test mode. And as we'd planned, uh, we continued running in test mode through the weekend, uh, kind of uh, tuning and uh, improving the system. Um, and uh, you can see, I think, um, here this is a typical state of our uh, compute cluster um, at, uh, as it is now. Um, let's see, I should be able to show you, I hope. Well, I can't show you. Okay, the, I, let, me, let me just explain what was happening. Um, in, uh, 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 as of um, late Sunday night, uh, we had managed to get um, all of our sort of supercomputer class uh, compute clusters uh, running at full capacity with test loads so that uh, those yellow dots there that represent um, uh, computations going on, uh, the, all of the clusters were completely full with, with computations. Uh, well, so over the weekend, um, it was very exciting to see um, uh, the amount of interest in Wolfram Alpha from around the world. Um, and we, uh, we saw altogether uh, to, to right now, 22.7 million uh, queries go through the system. Uh, interestingly, only an infinitesimal fraction of those queries were repeats of other queries. They were almost all unique, uh, different, specific questions being asked. According to our internal systems, about uh, three out of four of those queries gave what we considered to be satisfactory results. So it was, it was uh, really, really um, an exciting thing to see that just within a, a couple of days, of Wolfram Alpha being uh, live even in test mode, uh, there were already people being able to use it for all sorts of uh, serious work as a serious tool. Also lots of people uh, just able to, um, to have fun with it um, uh, in all sorts of ways. It was also very uh, encouraging to see um, the development of uh, quite a community around Wolfram Alpha, uh, some of it uh, happening on our own websites, uh, a lot of it happening outside on Facebook and Twitter and uh, uh, a, a bunch of independent websites that have started to grow up about, uh, about Wolfram Alpha. So it's, uh, in fact, over the weekend, uh, we received about uh, 22,000 uh, feedbacks about Wolfram Alpha, uh, comments and so on. I uh, spent quite a bit of time this weekend going through these, uh, some of these feedbacks. It's really a, a fascinating collection of extremely helpful things that the people are saying as we sort of uh, go forward with the system. I should uh, say that um, I'd uh, like to um, kind of recognize, uh, we, we know we have, uh, we're sort of at the beginning of a, of a long journey, have here uh, some of the people who worked on Wolfram Alpha. We're a very sort of globally distributed team. There are people both uh, sort of in the control room here who've been uh, uh, working on the actual go, going live and testing and tuning of the system. Uh, also some, uh, some of the people uh, who've worked on the, the content of Wolfram Alpha um, as uh, uh, as it exists today, and uh, we'll be working on it um, in the uh, weeks and months and years to, to, to come as, as the system develops further. We've now reached the point um, uh, where we can say that um, uh, we've, uh, we've adequately tested Wolfram Alpha. We'll be continuing to tune it um, uh, as time goes forward. But um, uh, as of now, I, I think um, uh, thanks to, to all the people who worked on, on Wolfram Alpha to date, also thanks to our launch partners who helped us to uh, assemble some of our supercomputer class clusters in a remarkably short amount of time. Uh, our systems and uh, Dell uh, were our, our primary launch partners. Um, I thank all of them and all of the people who've been involved in this. I think we've now reached the point um, uh, where we can declare Wolfram Alpha officially launched. So we, we've got a lot of work to do in the, in the time to come, and uh, uh, we'll be giving you some updates on what we're doing uh, in the uh, weeks, months, years to come. I should say that uh, even over this weekend, based on uh, feedback that we received, uh, we've been able to make uh, a number of updates. There'll be more updates going into Wolfram Alpha uh, every day as, as time goes forward. So uh, for now, thanks for joining us. Uh, hope to talk to you all again uh, at some point soon.